Hello and good morning. This video is going to be the second part of my Color Wow product review. I did that video was my first impressions. Watch that first before you watch this. So I want to talk about did the product last? How did it hold up and react in my hair throughout the week? Is it worth it? I'm not going to show you what my hair looks like yet. It's, it has been nine days and today is wash day. So I wanted to reveal what my hair looks like before washing. But I am going to insert some clips to show you how my hair held up throughout the week, what kind of environmental factors it encountered. I'm going to do a little bit of talking and then we're going to come right back. So it's officially day two. I'm getting ready to go to work. I'm just going to use my wide tooth comb, lightly detangle my hair, pull those three braids back, secure them with elastic, and then head out. No products added for today. So it was a decent weather day, so I was able to leave my hair out without any reversion. It is now nighttime of day two. I've already removed my makeup, taken a shower. I'm just going to lightly detangle my hair again and then get ready for bed. So I'm just putting my bandana on and then my blue satin bonnet and off to sleep. No product added. Hair still feels good. Soft, silky, shiny. Going to do a quick little scalp massage as well. It is day three. I'm going to do the same steps as I did for day two, getting ready to go to work. And the weather was a little bit colder than the previous day. So all I did was throw a hat on and tuck my hair in under my scarf. Just so you guys know, it is winter here. So there is a lot of moisture in the hair. So if I am going outside, I am going to try to prevent actual moisture from dropping onto my hair. Oh, it is night number three. I am home. I was out today for work. I went outside three times the weather had lots of rain going on lots of moisture in the air um and this is what my hair looks like i just pulled it back into a ponytail to take my makeup off and take a shower and this is what my hair looks like after being outside in those weather conditions i am super shocked that this color wow is holding up because i've been outside in loads of different type of mo moisture conditions and my hair has not lasted so i'm pretty flabbergasted tomorrow will be day four and i don't know if i'm going to go outside but i'm interested to see how well my hair lasts and if it really does last right up to wash day so stay tuned so it is now day six day five i did go outside went outside for about Woo! an hour to play in the snow with noah had my hair under a hat the whole time so no snow actually dropped on my head but today i am going to test out how well my hair lasts when getting sweaty i am going to attempt a one hour workout so to prep my hair for working out i'm pulling all my hair back into a medium height ponytail and then gonna braid the hair put a bandana on as i normally do and my nike hat just as an FYI, my workout is moderately intense, mixed between walking, running, jogging, no breaks in between for one entire hour. As you can see, I'm clearly sweaty, but I would like to mention that the sports bra I am wearing is a racer back. So where my ponytail lies, there is material blocking my hair from directly touching my skin, which I do, do think that contributes a lot. So I just came out of the shower and it is now the moment of truth. See what my hair looks like now that it has gotten extremely sweaty. I have to say, I am impressed. The lengths of the hair are pretty dry, still soft, still smooth, and the roots of the hair have only reverted just a little bit. I'd probably say about an inch and a half or so of reversion, but it hasn't gotten to the point where it looks like my hair was never straightened. It is now day seven, just got out the shower, getting ready for work and to lightly detangle my hair, pull those braids back, secure it with an elastic. I would like to mention, once again, I have not added any product to the hair. No moisturizer, no serums, no creams, no sprays, no edge control, no gels, no product to the hair thus far my edges are feeling a little bit dry so i'm going to spray them with a little bit of water and then apply the cantu to the edges 
Also, no extra heat has been added to the hair. No blow dryer, no re-straightening my hair. I've just been embracing the hair texture as it has been changing throughout the days. I'm perfectly fine with a little bit of frizz, waves, and kinks. I do want to make sure I'm giving the product a fair chance. Today is day eight. I am getting ready to go to work again. There is going to be a lot of moisture in the air today and I am honestly tired of the half up, half down. So I'm just gonna pull all the hair back into a medium height ponytail. Once again, not too worried about my edges, not planning on adding any edge control or gel as I know my hair will just revert in the front from all the rain. So as you can see from those clips, the product held up pretty well, but the next part of this review is, of course, how is my hair going to react when it comes time to washing it out? Just as a reminder, I only put the product on a quarter of my hair, so this back section here, the rest of my hair I use my can too. So I want to know, when I go to shampoo my hair, is my hair going to be straight still? Is my curl pattern going to return? Is there going to be any delay or hesitation? Anything like that. I'm going to take my sleep bonnet off and show you what we're working with. So this is what my hair looks like yesterday after I came in from the rain. I just put my hair in a low braid and then went to sleep. So this is my hair, still super shiny, super soft. My hair does feel dried out, but not extremely dried out to the point of feeling uncomfortable. But I do notice that it is dry feeling. So it definitely needs a good wash, lots of moisture and hydration. The roots are still in pretty good condition, which is great and I love, but I just need to get into washing. So on the, the bottle, it doesn't say to shampoo or clean your hair in any special way or different way. So I'm just gonna go about my regular wash day routine. If you guys have been watching me, you know what I do. I use my Tresemme shampoo, I shampoo twice, and then I follow up with a deep conditioning treatment. I am gonna use the Shea Moisture one, and then I am going to be right back and I'll show you what my hair looks like. So I am back, I just finished rinsing out my deep conditioner. So final thoughts, final review, I'm gonna make this quick. Is this Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray worth it? Let's see if it changed my natural curl pattern. Remember, I don't have extremely curly hair. It's more so wavy and I only use the product on this back portion section and it looks exactly as it always does. It does say that it's supposed to last for three to four shampoos. To be honest, I don't really care if it does last through three to four shampoos. I rather reapply the product when I want to do another straight hairstyle. And it, once I shampoo, I want my hair to be clean. I don't want to think that there's still residual product in it. My curls, my waves, everything still looks beautiful. The hair doesn't feel damaged. It is a lot of silicone that you're sealing into your hair strands, but silicone washes out easily when you make sure to shampoo your hair thoroughly. So my hair looks great, looks perfectly normal. It feels perfectly normal. Looks like the rest of my hair. I'm super happy. Would I recommend? Absolutely. I would give this product probably a 10 out of 10, to be honest. I was extremely skeptical, skeptical when I first heard about it and I've been turned into a believer, I would recommend. I am definitely going to test this out again before summer comes and use it on my entire head because once again, I only did a patch test of a quarter of my hair and I want to see how it works again uh, through taking hot showers, taking baths, working out, being outside in different weather condi conditions. I will test this out again and keep you guys posted. And then of course, test it out in actual real extreme humidity, that summertime heat, will it last? But for now, I do like this product. I will reuse it again 100% the next time I straighten my hair. And I love it. I probably will buy more bottles and stock up on them in case they ever get sold out or the price increases. I do think the price is worth it. At first I didn't, but I do think it's worth it. 10 out of 10. 
across the board. I love it. I would recommend. Let me know in the comment, comments below if you have tried this product. What was your experience with it? And if you want to see more videos like this where I do product reviews. I hope you enjoy. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you in the next video, which could be styling all of this because I don't know what I'm going to do with all of this. So I'll see you soon. Peace out.